100% tariff on every single car that comes across the line. And you're not going to be able to sell those cars. If I get elected, now if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole. It's, it's an open economy. It has to trade to survive. China is now simply too large for the rest of the world to absorb this enormous capacity. The microchip, a tiny marvel that has revolutionized the way we live, work and communicate. A marvel of modern engineering. These intricate pieces of technology are the backbone of our digital age, smaller than a fingernail, yet it holds the power to process billions of calculations per second. Imagine the complexity and precision required to create something so small, yet so powerful. These silicon soldiers power our world. They are the unsung heroes behind every electronic device we use daily. From smartphones to spaceships, they are everywhere. Their importance? Unimaginably massive. Without them, our modern world would come to a standstill. Welcome fellow explorers of the cosmos of technology. Today we delve into the fascinating world of microchips. Today we journey into the heart of a geopolitical battleground. A battleground where the stakes are higher than ever before. A battle fought not with missiles and tanks, but with silicon and software. The race for technological supremacy is on. Imagine a marathon runners neck and neck, the finish line in sight, each step a testament to human, endurance and determination. Now picture one runner suddenly picking up speed, surging ahead leaving the competition in the dust. This is the story of the microchip race. A race that has been decades in the making, with each advancement pushing the boundaries of what is possible. For years the United States has led the pack. Silicon Valley, the birthplace of countless innovations, has been at the forefront. But now, China is hot on its heels, with massive investments and a relentless drive. They are closing the gap. This isn't just about national pride. It's about economic dominance, technological superiority, the ability to shape the future. The very future of computing hangs in the balance. The outcome of this race will determine who controls the next wave of technological advancements. Buckle up, this is going to be a wild ride. The journey ahead is filled with twists and turns, breakthroughs and challenges. Stay tuned as we explore the incredible world of microchips and the race for technological supremacy. For decades, companies like Intel have been the undisputed champions of the microchip arena. Their processors, the brains of our computers, have set the gold standard. But the landscape is shifting. China, with its ambitious Made in China 2025 plan, has thrown its hat into the ring. Let's go. Ah, uh, China is investing heavily in its domestic semiconductor industry, building mega factories attracting top talent. Their goal to become self-sufficient in chip production and eventually global leaders. This surge in Chinese capabilities has sent ripples through Silicon Valley. Intel, once seemingly untouchable, now faces a formidable challenger. The stakes couldn't be higher. China's rise in the microchip industry is nothing short of meteor. In just a few decades, they have transformed from a minor player to a formidable force in the global tech arena. They've made remarkable strides in a short period. The speed and scale of their progress have left many industry veterans in awe. How did they manage this? A potent mix of government support, access to vast resources, and a relentless drive to succeed. The Chinese government has poured billions into research and development, creating an environment where innovation can thrive. Think of a dragon. Long asleep, now awakened. This dragon symbolizes China's technological ambitions, stirring from its slumber with newfound vigor. It's breathing fire, eager to claim its place in the sun. This fire represents the intense energy and passion driving China's tech industry forward. This is the energy China is bringing to the microchip battle. Engineers and scientists are working around the clock, pushing the boundaries of what's possible. They're not just playing to catch up, they're playing to win but challenges remain. The global microchip market is fiercely competitive and staying ahead requires constant innovation. Mastering the most advanced chip-making techniques is a complex endeavor. It involves not only cutting-edge technology, but also a deep understanding of the intricate processes involved. It requires time, expertise, and a bit of luck. But with their current momentum, China is well on its way to becoming a dominant force in the microchip industry, reshaping the future of technology. Intel isn't standing idly by. The American giant is fighting back, investing billions in research and development, upgrading its manufacturing facilities, forging new partnerships. It's a battle for survival. Imagine a boxer backed into a corner, adrenaline pumping, eyes locked on the opponent, every move critical. That's Intel today. They know they need to innovate like never before. The question is, 
Can they keep pace with China's relentless pursuit? Can they maintain their technological edge in the face of such fierce competition? The art of war silicon style this battle isn't just about building faster, more powerful chips. It's about strategy. It's about securing supply chains, attracting top talent, and navigating the complex geopolitical landscape. I think of a game of chess. Every move carefully calculated, anticipating the opponent's next step. That's what's happening in the microchip arena. Companies are making strategic acquisitions, forming alliances, and investing in cutting-edge technologies. It's a high-stakes game. The winners will shape the future of technology. The losers risk being left behind. Innovation, a two-way street. Some argue that China's rise is a threat to American dominance. But what if it's an opportunity? Competition often breeds innovation. The pressure to stay ahead can lead to breakthroughs that benefit everyone. Think of two rival scientists, each pushing the boundaries of their field. Their competition, while intense, ultimately advances scientific knowledge for all humankind. The same principle can apply in the microchip industry. China's entry into the fray could push American companies to innovate even faster. It could lead to the development of even more powerful, efficient, and affordable chips for all. The global chip game this isn't just a two-player game. Countries like Taiwan, South Korea, and the Netherlands are also major players in the microchip ecosystem, each with its strengths and vulnerabilities. The think of a complex tapestry, threads of different colors and textures interwoven. That's the global microchip supply chain. Disruptions in one part of the world can have ripple effects across the globe. This interdependence highlights the need for cooperation, solving global chip shortages, ensuring a stable and secure supply chain. These challenges require a coordinated global effort. The future of computing. A collaborative effort. The future of computing is being shaped right now, in research labs where scientists are pushing the boundaries of what's possible. On factory floors where engineers meticulously assemble the microchips that power our devices. In the halls of government where policies and regulations are being crafted to guide the ethical and practical use of these technologies. It's a future that will be defined by artificial intelligence, quantum computing, and other mind-boggling technologies. AI algorithms are becoming more sophisticated, capable of learning and adapting in ways we never thought possible. Quantum computers promise to revolutionize our computational capabilities, solving problems that are currently beyond our reach. What role will China play in this future? As a nation with significant investments in technology and innovation, China's influence is undeniable. Will it be a collaborator working hand-in-hand -hand with other nations to advance global technology, or a competitor striving to outpace others in the tech race? Or perhaps a bit of both. The lines between collaboration and competition are often blurred as nations and companies navigate the complex landscape of technological advancement. The answers to these questions will have profound implications for all of us. The way we work, communicate and live our daily lives will be transformed by these advancements. One thing is certain, the journey towards this future will be filled with challenges and opportunities. Engineers and scientists will face obstacles that require innovative solutions, and the path forward will be marked by both triumphs and setbacks. And it's a journey we're all on together. As we move forward, the collaborative efforts of individuals, companies, and nations will shape the future of computing, creating a world where technology serves the greater good. What's next? The microchip race is far from over. In fact, it's just heating up. New technologies are emerging. The geopolitical landscape is constantly shifting. The stakes are higher than ever. What's next for Intel? Can they fend off the challenge from China and maintain their leadership position? Will China achieve its goal of becoming a global microchip superpower? These are just some of the questions that will shape the future of technology, and the answers are far from certain. Your thoughts matter. What are your thoughts on China's rise in the microchip industry? Do you see it as a threat or an opportunity? What role do you think government should play in fostering innovation? Share your thoughts in the comments below. I'm eager to hear your perspectives on this critical issue, the quantum leap. As we delve deeper into the 21st century, one thing is clear. The future of computing is full of possibilities. Quantum computers, with their ability to solve problems that are impossible for even the most powerful classical computers, promise to revolutionize fields like medicine, material science, and artificial intelligence. The race to develop these next-generation computers is already underway, and it's a race that could redefine the global balance of power. The future of technology is being written right now, and it's a story that's far from over. In fact, it's just beginning. Subscribe to Revo now and join our vibrant community of forward thinkers, change makers, and revolutionaries.